All right, time to get breakfast. All right, so <laughs> if you guys um, have a puppy at home, really anything under five, even six months old, we'll do a version of this even with some of the older puppies. Um, this is what you wanna do to wear your puppy out rather than playing chase in the yard or playing really rough games. This is what, this is what you wanna do. So this is the very beginning. She already knows her basic obedience and she's done this before. So I'm just gonna say her name and and come. Finley, Finley, come. Yes. Now she's not focused enough yet to do the full length of this. So I'm going to call this a warm up. So this is technically come, sit, and break. But she's not focused enough yet for it. She'll leave food on the ground. So right now I'm going to feed her from my hand from a, for a warm up. Finley, come. I move back. Yes. And feed her from my hand. A few pieces. Nice job. So now let's see if she'll eat all the kibble up and let me move away. Finley, come, sit, break. And I dump kibble on the ground. It takes a little bit of maturity for them to eat up all the kibble. She's doing it, Finley, come, yeah, sit, break. Perfect, let's see if she can do it again. So as soon as she eats the last piece is when I recall her to me. Finley, Finley, come. Yes. Sit. Break. Good. Only left a couple pieces. So when your dog kind of hits, she's about 9, 10 weeks old. When your dog hits 12, 13, 14, Finley, come. Sit. Break. When your dog hits that older puppy age bracket, you can do way bigger areas of space. You can cover, yes, come. <laughs> you can cover bigger areas of space in the yard, in the house, do different rooms, things like that. Sit, break, and you just dump kibble on the ground. Now the next stage of this, like when your puppy gets good, something you can add to it is collar grabbing. Because puppies all the time, when you reach out for them, they think they're in trouble. She doesn't yet, yeah. They think they're in trouble because they hear no a lot and they'll dodge your hand. They don't want to be grabbed by the collar. So the next step is just to call them to you. Finley, come, yes, break. And while they're eating kibble, just kind of hold onto the collar, mess, mess around with it some, even kind of hold them back a little because it, it, they're not comfortable with it. You gotta condition them to that. See a little bit of frustration and then release and more kibble. Break, and then I'll give distance. It's so important, guys, because dogs get really used to dodging the hand. Come, sit, good, break. They get really used to that, but only do that when they're doing really good. With these, see, she's like, what are you doing? Why? Even the collar is new for her, so. Good job. Good. See, see, she even stopped eating her kibble. She's like, what are you doing? And it's important for them to get used to just, you know, being held and having the hand come in and then releasing. Because they think that every time you go and get them, good sit, break. They think that every time you go and get them, you're going to put them away or they're in trouble. And they'll start not coming to you and dodging your hand coming in. We see it all the time with older puppies because they haven't had that conditioning. Finley, yeah, Finley, come, sit, break, very good.